Okay, we've spent some time going through the desktop version and what we would expect a dispatcher, manager, supervisor to see when they're sitting at a computer. But one of the most important features that Resort Cleaning offers is the app perspective. And we offer this perspective for all the different user types, whether it be housekeepers, uh, maintenance personnel, inspectors, supervisors, housemen. Uh, this particular section, we're going to go through the housekeeper perspective. And now you can see that I've got it simulated here um, on my computer, but this would be a very similar view to what you would see on, on a phone. Uh, you can see up at the top, you've got the start date, end date. And this is the setting that we would show for um, all of our housekeepers in which they could pull their, their schedule in for however long and however far out you have it set. At the beginning of the day, once you've set the schedule and assigned all the tasks to all your team, uh, once your, your team has loaded up their device, click Get Appointments. And then they should see down below there all the appointments that they have loaded for the day. And this particular attendant, her name is Jane Doe. Jane has three appointments. And from this status bar, we can see that she started one. She checked in 17 minutes ago. Uh, she has two other cleans to do. Now, there's a lot of information that's being shown here on this screen, and I want to make sure that we spend a couple of minutes just going through each bit. Just under the Get Appointments button, there's a legend. And this legend will pop out so that you can determine what all of the different buttons and icons mean. So we're going to click on that. We see that this first uh, icon that shows the arrows going different directions means that if it's highlighted, it's a turnaround or what we would call a back-to-back. -back. Guests are checking out, more guests are checking in that same day. If it's not highlighted, then either that's an, it's not a back-to-back -back or turnaround or it wasn't selected as such. And either the integration didn't pull it through as an, a back-to-back -back, or your dispatcher, whoever's loading your schedule, didn't load it that way. Uh, the next icon would be your vacant icon. This determines whether the unit is vacant or not. Um, we, in certain integrations, we have the ability to pull this information from the PMS. Otherwise, this can be marked as vacant by the house attendants. It can be marked by the inspectors, supervisors in the field, or it can be marked from your dispatch uh, location. VIP, um, this can denote a number of different things based off your specific settings. But in some settings, the VIP could mean an early check-in. Uh, at other locations, it could mean a, a high-profile guest. Uh, in certain other locations, it can denote that there's a special person coming in. So you want to make sure that is checked. And then you communicate to your team what that means specifically. Inspection, uh, this denotes whether an inspection is scheduled for this unit or not. And then the users can hover over that to see what items are going to be inspected. Photos, it determines if there's photos been added by a by somebody at dispatch for that specific appointment or if there's photos added for that specific property. And from the dispatch view, if you're sitting at your computer, if that was highlighted, it would show that someone in the field had added photos to that appointment. Uh, finally, what you could see would be if there's inventory applied or inventory needed at the location. So we'll close out our legend and kind of go down here. We can see that here, um, Jane Doe has checked in to unit FLA4. Uh, it is a service on this date, 8-23-2019, and that it is a departure claim. From here, you can see that it is a turnaround or a back-to-back. -back. The unit is vacant. It is not a VIP. There is an inspection, and these are the items that will be inspected for that particular unit. It just pulls up the inspection template that is loaded for that property. Um, we could see that there are no notes, no photos, no inventory applied. However, it looks like Jane did apply a house attendant request at some point in time. She put in that I need four bath towels. So there should be a house attendant coming to fulfill that request. Once the request is fulfilled, this will go away. Okay. Um, so you could also see where Jean, Jane can po populate or push out the details if she so chose. Um, there's the ability to add in do not disturbs. If this was a service, she can mark the unit as a do not disturb, and that would show up on your dispatch bar. Um, we can also see that she's got two units that are pending. Once Jane completes this particular assignment, it would go to complete it. So we'll go ahead and mark this as checked out. Yep, she's finished. So if Jane had finished that, it would go to complete it, and then she could check into the next unit as she was ready. That concludes
the explanation of the housekeeper app perspective, we will soon be going through inspectors, supervisors, and house attendants.